The World Affairs Council of St. Louis is a nonprofit organization that connects St. Louis to the world by promoting global networks, embracing cultural differences, and creating welcoming policies and fostering global business in the region. Joining us to talk about their second annual Gateway Globe Awards program is the president, uh, Pierce Powers. Thanks so much for coming on the show today. Great to be on, Andy. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, uh, so exciting an event. Uh, can you just tell me about, before we talk about the event, can you just tell me about the organization overall? What, what is, where it came it's, from? It's an incredible organization. We are one of 90 chapters in the country. Um, we were founded here in 1948 by the big companies, uh, McDonald, Danforth. Um, they, they, they really wanted to be sure after World War II that St. Louis, right here in the middle of the whole country, uh, did not become um, isolated from the rest of the world. And it's all the more important today. It's totally a political, non-political organization that brings people from all around the world here. They even come and sit at our dinner table sometimes, which I'll explain later. <laughs> so you said it was apolitical, but does the political climate affect that? Does it make it harder to bring in certain world leaders or no? Well, the, the leaders are young, younger people. They're actually chosen by their equivalent of the State Department that we have, and then they're approved by our State Department. So they're very high caliber people. And usually there's, they want to come for a subject matter. So we compete with other cities. Um, the Korean group that came uh, wanted to see parts of Boeing. So that was that. We had a news media group where we had uh, news people from the UK, from um, Ireland. And um, they wanted to see our, our new stuff. They met with your friend Charlie Brennan along <laughs> the way, as a matter of fact. So did the Korean people. Charlie's door is open very much to this. So you do bring them to the city. Can you tell me what the, what is their impression of St. Louis when you bring them? They're in awe. <laughs> <laughs> the Korean story is the one that's the most fun because I took two days off from work and uh, we, we had a wonderful lunch at Boeing and a tour, but I took them around in my big car, which was a nice thing to have. Um, they saw the arch, they saw Forest Park. I took them to a blues game. I took them to my son's restaurant, Lona's Little Eats, <laughs> and they love that. It's very authentic uh, East Asian food. Um, they couldn't believe there was a city like this in the middle of the country. <laughs> there was a fellow from the State Department, U.S. The, the lady was from the Korean Embassy, and then a retired State Department individual from um, the Korean Institute. They said they'd never been here. They couldn't believe it. So that is fabulous. phenomenal. And you've had them at your home. They came to our home. Right. And you feed, you feed, is this a part of the organization? Does, does a lot of people try to host them? Yeah, um, last year we brought two, about 200 people from 60 different countries, and each and every one of them, in groups of two to four, were entertained in our homes, yes, of those of us who are members. A perk of the job, I'd say, right? Perk of the job, <laughs> and man, do you learn a lot. It's incredible. <laughs> it's got to be wonderful. fascinating to bring somebody from another country in your home to, to have dinner. And you, uh, what, what are the type of things that you just learned? What's maybe one of the latest things you learned just from having somebody over? Well, the, the, the folks in the museums were fabulous. We really learned a lot. But the fun one I'm going to tell you about is when the Bosnian group came. Uh, my wife is very involved with the Bosnian um, program at Fontbonne University. So she had the head of the Bosnian program handpick some students and the Bosnian visitors and uh, we actually started a romance of a Bosnian Bosnian and a Bosnian who lives here. So <laughs> fun stuff. It's neat stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the things you learn at the dinner table <laughs> at the home. <laughs> well, we're going to talk more about uh, that and the event coming up. I want to make sure everybody knows where to go for this event. Uh, it's pretty awesome that it's going to host a lot of different uh, nations and, and leaders and such. So uh, stay with us at STL Live. We're going to learn more about the Gateway Globe Awards after this break. Uh, stay with us. Thank you.